What's up guys, it's Jabariko here. So today I'm gonna show you guys how you can use the Bard API with a script that I wrote in Python. But first of all, why do you even want to do that, right? So let's say you're based here in Hong Kong and you'd like to use the chat GPT API instead. Let me tell you, it's really hard because first you need a VPN and even if you have a VPN, you need a chat GPT plus subscription which is really hard to get because they will not take the Hong Kong, any Hong Kong issued credit cards. They will just not take them. Uh, we have found a way around, which is to use the BARD API instead. Because if you use the BARD API, you still need a VPN, but you don't need a credit card because you can use it for free. How to do so? I'm going to guide you through uh, all the steps, so don't worry about them. And I already uh, made a Python script that you can just clone and use it. Uh, how do you clone it? I'm going to leave the link uh, in the video description below. So uh, go to my link, go to my GitHub project and clone my project first. So you have to go to this uh, green button that's written uh, that says code and then go to this tab https tab and then you going to you're going to click on this button to copy this link so once you have copied that link we are going to clone the project open your terminal and uh, so now I'm going to open the terminal okay and I'm doing this using Linux but you can just use a Mac or a PC it's up to you and then you're going to figure out how to open the terminal on your Mac or your, on your PC and once you have done that you go to your terminal and you're going to type git clone and paste the link that we just copied what this is doing this is cloning uh, my project into your machine so once you have done that, you're going to go to that directory, uh, that folder. So just type cd and bard api hyphen project. Okay. So now I'm there, and now you need to use your bard api key. So where can I find it? You have to go to bard. So let's go back to the browser. So here, guys, we are going to uh, let me okay. Let me minimize this a little bit, and let's go to Bard. And if you are here based in Hong Kong, you still need to use a VPN. So use a VPN, go to Bard, and here uh, on Bard, you are going to right click with the mouse anywhere, and you're going to go you're going to get this dialog box and you're going to pick this last uh, option in that dialog box which says inspect once you have done that guys uh, let me just move it a little bit so it's easier for you guys to see it okay so once you have done that guys you're going to go to these uh, these two arrows and you're going to go to application and then from application, you're going to go to cookies. And from cookies, you're going to open this bard.google.com. And then from here, you have to look for uh, this thing that's called underscore underscore secure hyphen one PS ID. And you're going to copy the, the key. The key is on this second tab called value. I'm not going to go there because if I go there, it will show you guys my key. I don't want you guys to see my key. But basically, that's why, what you have to copy. So once you have copied that, all you have to do is go back to the terminal. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the terminal. Where is my terminal? Oh, here. Okay. And then go back to the terminal. Uh, let me make it bigger a little bit. Yes. So you're going to look for this bard.py so type sudo nano bard.py okay and here you're going to go to here and you're going to copy and paste the key there okay so now i'm doing that i'm just not going to show you because i don't want you to see my key but i'm doing that right now and then 
this. Okay. And then I'm going to control, oops. Okay. So now I'm done. I've copied that. And uh, what else do I need to do? Yes. So now uh, I'm going to put uh, the contents that I want Python to analyze. Well, I want BARD API to analyze. So I think the easiest thing for me is to go to a website that I uh, and, and get some sample text and then ask BARD API to analyze it for me. Okay. Uh, let's go there. So, okay. So let me minimize this a little bit. Okay. So I'm here guys, and I'm going to go to this page. Oops. Oh, not this one. I'm going to go to the, to the CAF, which is the Crypto Assets Federation. The, this website is made by two of my friends, Joanne and Angela, and they run this association. Sometimes I give talks at their association. I gave one talk a few days ago, by the way. So let me copy this text and ask G chat, uh, not chat GPT, but BARD API to analyze it for me and make a summary for me, okay? So these three paragraphs I'm going to copy, okay? Now I'm going to go back to my terminal. So where's my terminal? Let's go back to the terminal and, uh, oops, yes. So now guys, you're going to paste these contents. So uh, let's do sudo nano. Uh, first, let's go to this folder called data, okay? And I'm going to paste it here into this data.txt. So sudo nano data.txt. Okay. And oh, it's already, okay, it's already full of uh, other things. So, oops. Let me delete it first. So sudo rm data.txt. And now let's sudo nano data.txt. Okay. So now we are going to paste it. Okay, so now I have pasted everything. Yes, I'm going to save it. So let's save it. Yes, boom. Okay, so now let's go back there. And all you have to do guys, now you have to just run the script. So Python 3 bard.py, okay? And now what this is doing, it is summarizing that those three paragraphs that I copied from the Crypto Assets Federation website, and it's giving me uh, a summarization. So let's see if it's good or bad. It looks pretty good, let's see. Okay, sure, here is, the sum is a summary of the text. Vision to create a future where individuals from diverse backgrounds are empowered and educated to thrive in the rapidly changing landscape of Web3 technologies, AI, and blockchain development. Oh, looks pretty good, okay? So what do you guys... Okay, I hope you guys understood how to how to do things using this script. Please try at home. Let me know if you are happy about it. Write in the comments section below. If you are not happy about it, also write in the comments section below so that I will know that you're not happy and I can improve next time. Okay, so thanks for watching once again and see you guys in my next video. Bye.